Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am just another tinfoil hat. Welcome to my monthly book review. This month, I'm super excited to be discussing Mike Clellan's book, The Messengers, Owls, Synchronicity, and the UFO Abductee. Now, I'm always super excited to come across a book that handles the topic of UFOs in an unconventional way. And this book is definitely a very strong departure from the classic nuts and bolts mentality, which is rampant through the field of UFO research. Now, as Mike states in the book, he isn't approaching this topic through the lens of you know, a scientist, but rather through the lens of a folklorist and also as a personal experiencer. And above anything, he states that this book is a personal journey for him. And I think that's really an important aspect to nail down. As in my opinion, this effect on people's lives um, is one of the most significant and measurable effects of the UFO phenomenon and the unexplained at large. That being said, too, I also think it's relevant to include one of my favorite Keel quotes at this point regarding UFOs. The study and interpretation of all this belongs in the hands of historians, philosophers, psychiatrists, and theologians. This effect on one's life, um, the symbolic, nearly mythological nature of the UFO experience, has for a very long time been relegated to the fringe of the fringe. And so it's really always exciting to me to come across someone who is willing to tackle these incredibly vague and incredibly hefty issues. And that is exactly what Mike does here. You know, as the title suggests, this book really deals extensively with the synchronicity which is rampant through the lives of those who believe they have experienced something, whether UFO-related or spiritual, or as we often see throughout this book as well as other books about this topic, usually some combination of both. Of course, the thread that really ties this whole thing together is, perhaps unsurprisingly, the owls. Now, my initial thought when first considering owls and UFOs was, of course, the popular image of the owl as a screen memory. However, Mike shows throughout this book that owls really pop up far outside the confines of this one role, illustrated through the personal narratives from many witnesses, including himself. What I really, really enjoy, too, is that he states that there are no hard and fast answers or black and white ways of dealing with this or looking at this phenomenon, and that gives the reader a real license to take a personal look at Mike's really thorough research and then develop their own stance and their own opinion. So I really appreciate that. And another aspect of the book that I found absolutely intriguing was the chapter on owls in pop culture, which contains, as you may have guessed, a discussion on the absolutely fantastic and enigmatic masterpiece Twin Peaks. The interplay of pop culture, belief systems, and the paranormal is of endless interest to me. And so whenever I see mention of it in you know, a paranormal book, that just totally stands out as something I truly, truly enjoy. Now, Mike's writing style is conversational and easy to read, which is perfect not only for a book which has such an emphasis on personal experiences, but also for such a lengthy read that tackles such deep content. And stylistically, too, the book is just awesome, especially the cover. I totally love that. You know, as a weird side note, owls have actually been, had a prominent stylistic feature sort of throughout my life. Um, it's kind of funny to say, but my mom didn't necessarily like collect owl stuff. She didn't have like a conscious collection of cool owl things. But we do have kind of an inordinate amount of owl themed decor and even jewelry and stuff like that. So immediately this cover just really spoke to me, especially the emphasis on the eyes. It's just absolutely fantastic. Links to Mike's book and recently released audiobook will be in the description. And truly, if you're looking for something that takes a very different look at the UFO phenomenon, you know, something that really delves into the symbolic and synchronistic nature of paranormal experiences, definitely check it out. So if you enjoyed this book review of The Messengers, please like, and if you're new to this field of crop circles, go ahead and subscribe to see what weirdness the future may have in store. Till then, you can keep up with whatever else I might possibly be doing on my website, justanothertinfoilhat.com, and for exclusive content, make sure to check out my Patreon page, which is also listed under Just Another Tinfoil Hat. For today, I'm Zelia Edgar, signing off. Do we?